What's up guys, it's your boy H.A. and I wanted to do a video real quick talking about the price point of this Hackintosh uh, computer build that I went through about mm, two weeks, three weeks ago now and I want to actually talk about uh, some of the benchmarks that I've been getting by testing some of the stuff. Uh, real quick I'm going to show you the graphics card performance and I'm going to show you the Geekbench score that I get and you know we'll go from there so without further ado let's go in and let's do the actual Geekbench score which is here gotta find I got so much stuff in here alright guys so here's the Geekbench uh, set up here and this talks about what I have now in this particular uh, model you'll see that my processor is set at stock and I've got 32 gig of RAM. The, the 32 gig of RAM is true, but in actuality, this uh, processor has been overclocked to around 4.5 gigahertz. So we'll see what it's running at that. And we're going to switch to 64 gig, uh, 64, excuse me, bit mode. We'll run the benchmark and see what we end up getting. Um, while we wait, we'll talk about some of the other stuff that's going on up here in my system toolbar. And as you can see here, I've got um, faders for both of my monitors so I can make them darker, make them lighter, Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, everything. So I show you all this to show you that this thing is operating and functioning as an actual Macintosh computer and functioning quite well. Um, we'll see what we run into on the Geekbench as it wraps up and I'll talk about that a little bit. Um, in this particular test, I scored a 17.125, which is pretty consistent uh, what I've been getting. I score anywhere from 17.125 all the way up to around 18,000. So I never go any lower than 17,000. So that's a pretty successful build in my opinion uh, for this not being the top of the line Hackintosh that you can build. This is the second to top of the line version. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Um, now we're going to go in here and I'm going to run this center bench for you. And to keep tight on time, I'm going to only run the OpenGL test. Um, overall, I've been really happy with this system. Um, the actual computer is here and the fans that I've added are keeping it fairly cool. Uh, I'm very happy being able to use it wirelessly. We, just like a standard uh, Mac Pro. I mean, there's really not a whole lot of difference between my computer and the standard Mac Pro. The OpenGL test just finished and we're hitting at around 52.36 frames per second. And my graphics card in their ranking uh, with my system configurations right at the top. Um, I'm really happy about that as well. Um, so yeah, uh, that's just kind of showing you guys a little bit of uh, what's going on with my particular system. Um, again, when you go to the about this uh, Macintosh section, I've tweaked all this stuff out, but I am running at about 4.5 gigahertz uh, Intel Core i7, and now I have the 3770K processor in this guy. 32 gig of 1600 uh, DDR3 RAM, and there's my computer as I showed you guys before with a custom name ID, and everything is working uh, the way I would expect it to work. Um, cost of this bill that's been a really hot question and it depends on if you're building from scratch and I will say that in my particular case I've, I've not, I was not building from scratch with this computer I already had these two things I already had one of the monitors and I already had the HD uh, webcam so I had some stuff to start with. I already, I already had some HDMI's and I had some stuff. So I didn't start completely from scratch. Um, to date, with the mon with the extra monitor, I have spent around nineteen hundred and fifty bucks, give or take twenty dollars, uh, which isn't bad. I, I'm under two thousand. I know for a fact. And I just looked at my statement when I purchased all the stuff. And minus the monitor, I was at seventeen hundred and ninety dollars. So with the monitor cost tax and everything uh, like I said I'm around nineteen hundred and fifty dollars for this build so if you want to build this computer you'd be looking at around two thousand dollars realistically um, 
could I have purchased a Mac Pro for that? Sure. Uh, could I have purchased an, a Mac Pro with USB 3, with, you know, uh, Thunderbolt, with all the capabilities that I have with this case and this system and being, being swappable and expandable? Heck no. I just couldn't have done it. Not for that amount of money. Um, to even get close with a Mac Pro system that's comparable to what I built here and to have some of that flexibility I would have had got had to have gotten at least a 2010 model with all the bells and whistles and I would have been around 35 or better to even get where I wanted to go once I changed out the graphics card and everything so you know in my opinion this was a good bill and it was worthwhile for me I produce videos a lot quicker than I have in the past and I'm, I'm really happy overall um, as I was saying, and I didn't really, you know, get to that. If you wanted to build this computer or a computer very similar to this and you were starting from scratch, uh, realistically, you, you don't have to have 23-inch monitors. I mean, just a single monitor set up with pretty much the exact same computer with parts I'll list below. You're looking at around 2100 bucks will get the job done for you. And that's with HDMIs and everything. And that's ordering everything. Um and you realistically depending on where you are get the parts fairly quickly and be off and running um, with this case and this part set up that I have um, it's proven I beat the hell out of it I've run stress tests and it works very well I'm super happy with it so uh, that's my wrap up um, for this particular series about the Hackintosh if you guys have any more questions I'll be glad to uh, answer them but you know this was coming to an end um, I will let you guys know if I add other pieces um, I will do a video when I add uh, the blu-ray drive in there because that's pretty much the last piece I'm waiting on then I'll install some more hard drive space which you guys don't really give a shit about um, I've got some cable management stuff to do. I had this stuff a little buttoned up, but I've been moving and shuffling things around, so it got a little crazy. But uh, I'll be getting things uh, back together real soon. Again, if you have questions, please let me know. Thank you for watching this video. And subscribe if you hadn't or if you're thinking about it. And like it if uh, you found this video informative. Thanks again so much. See you guys later.